Diffusion limited aggregation refers to a certain particle aggregation phenomenon which can be absorbed easily from nature. You can find more details about its related theory and history online. And here I'm sharing few obvious examples that I found. And finally, this video shows the underlying mechanism very well. This can be also easily coded. And in this tutorial, we are going to code this algorithm and at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to grow particles in 2D as well in 3D. And we will also learn how to constrain their particle positions to pixelated voxel grid. Firstly, let's create a Unity project using uni Universal Rendering Pipeline template. In this template, you will see a simple scene automatically imported. Let's go ahead and delete it. Now creating an empty game object and rename it as script manager. And in the assets folder, create a C-sharp script called DLA create and double click to open it in Visual Studio. Create a public parameter as game object called input prefab, save the code and go back to the Unity scene. Select the script manager from the hierarchy, drag the DLA create script to the inspector window, create a 3D object cube, drag that to the assets folder to make it into a prefab. Delete it from the scene and assign that to the DLA create input prefab. Now the input prefab is the cube now. We can copy it or modify it from the script. Let's create a few more parameters, which we will use later. Delete unnecessary lines. Create a new public function called sub setup scene, and this function is called at the start. This function will include all the calculations that involve initial state before growing any DLA particles.
Let's go back to the scene and hit play. The game view will show up and one cube is added in the scene. We are going to set up the active prefab and this will be highlighted as red color and highlight the latestly, lastly added particle each time. Now when you play the game, you will see another red component that is added to the scene. Now let's create another function called addOnePrefab. This function adds a new game object next to a given game object called testGameObject and a vector called growDIR and this function will be called on a mouse click. We will go back to the scene, create another empty game object called player. Create a C -sharp script called player and connect the C -sharp script to the game object. And make sure the transform is reset. Double click to open the player script. Create a public par parameter as DLA create.
hook the script manager to the DLA create parameter. Now we will code in few lines, so we will click on the screen and add new cube next to the mouse clicked position. Now new cube is added where we click and the red cube is following the lastly added cube. Go back to the script, we will add few more lines to clear and delete all the newly created cubes. So we can call the setup scene multiple times during the runtime. We will now make a button to trigger and reset the scene. After we create the button, we have to let the button trigger setup scene function upon the click. Now the button will reset the scene every time it's pressed. 